Welcome back, friends. Today, I'm going to show you how I created this text effect that is uh, stretched upwards and also stretched uh, in a perspective way uh, coming outwards towards the left and coming outwards towards the right. So let's get started. So I'm starting off with a YouTube thumbnail. It is the size of 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And uh, before we get started, I just want to just remind you that I do have a very special gift coming out to you guys. It is a Canva template and um, you're not going to know where to find it unless you subscribe and turn your notifications on. So don't forget that if you learned anything whatsoever in this video tutorial to press that like button to subscribe and most importantly, turn those notifications on. So let's get started here. Let's get to the meats and potatoes. So I'm going to start by going to an app called Typecraft. Now, I like Typecraft because you can uh, stretch text any way you like it. The con to using Typecraft is that, um, you know, you're not going to find all fonts in Typecraft. It definitely has a lot of fonts, but you're not going to find every single font in Typecraft. So that's a con. Um, I'm in my text. I'm going to, in all caps, type snake. And for the font, I'm going to uh, use Anton. It is one of my favorite fonts, so I'm just going to use Anton. And I'll just go back to the beginning. And we're not going to apply any kind of a style. We're just going to keep it at none. And for the color, we're going to select a green color, a dark green color. So I'll just wing it and I'll choose this color right here. And we'll, we'll come down and what we're going to do is we're going to make um, this text area uh, taller. So I'm going to grab it and uh, I'm going to use the horizontal uh, skewing to just bring this up like that. And I'll go back to none and I'll bring this up as well. Now, um, we're going to add this to our workspace just to make sure that it is um, straight. So it is pretty straight up here. So that's okay. And to edit this, we can just go back in here and we can continue to edit. Now I'm going to make this a little bit taller. So I'm going to grab the edges here and I'll go back to none and I'll just bring this up again like that. And I'll update the element again. And it's still, it's pretty straight, so um, that's okay. So I'm going to keep this like this for now, and I'll just place it like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create a copy, and I'll just place that copy here. That way I have the same color and um, the same font selected. All right, so now what we need to do is... Um, we can come back in here and we're just going to reset the shape. And we have to uh, make it so that um, these edges down at the bottom are being skewed in a diagonal way. So I'm going to change um, the skewing point to horizontal. And I'm just going to bring these edges out like that. And I'm now going to update that element like that. Now we need to, you know, kind of match up the letters. So I'm going to try and match up the letters as best I can. Okay, so that is pretty good. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do, and if you want this taller, you can have this taller as well. Just click it and then you can just make it 
um, a little bit taller if you want it to be a little bit taller. Like that. Okay, and then you can just bring it up like that and just match it up as best you can like that. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come back um, to this one here and we're going to go to transparency and we're going to make that a lot lighter like that. And I'm going to take all of this and I'm just going to bring it down like that. And I'm going to try and place it in the middle. And then I'm going to just scale it so that it's coming off the page like that. Okay, so all that is left to do at this point is to, um, we can come up to elements and we can grab a snake. Um, let me just go back because I had one already picked out. So we can just add our snake in there like that. And if you want to add some kind of a gradient in there, you could do that as well. Um, so here are some options. We can use a green gradient like this. And if you're not liking that um, green gradient, you can try a gray gradient. And let's see what that looks like here. That is pretty dark. Um, so what you could do is just um, make it more transparent like that. So these are your options and you'll want to um, put the gradient behind the snake. So go to position, go to layers and just move it behind the snake because you want to be able to see the snake. So that's what that would look like. So, you know, which one do you like better? Do you like the one better with the green gradient or you like the silver? I don't know. Anyhow, that is it for this tutorial on how to stretch text. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, press that like button. And if there are any other types of tutorials you want to see, just leave it in the comments. I love to hear from you guys and I do try to answer every single comment. And also, if you want to learn Canva with me, um, press that join button because I go live every Tuesday. And don't forget to subscribe because there's a gift coming in September. It's coming very, very soon. Okay, guys, look, for now, I will say bye-bye until next time.